Hi, I'm Sam Alessio, co-founder and CEO of AGS Zephyr, and we provide products to minimize the virus transmissions indoor in the congregation zones where people and people meet. Uh, congregation indoor and virus transmissions is creating havoc around the world. When people are not wearing masks and communicating and meeting indoors, virus spread can occur. There's no effectual uh, market solution right now to help with virus transmissions. In fact, over $35 billion in lost productivity occurs each year due to people having viruses and taking sick days. And that's with the existing systems in place. Our solution is PZAP, Personal Zone Air Purifier. It's a cutting edge patented system that delivers a way to segment each room in a, uh, uh, a segmented zone where we clean the air around the table and then deliver purified airs back to the individuals sitting around the table using HEPA filter technology. While most other systems work in a macro level, when people are working and talking and meeting together indoors across a table, those other systems can't clean the air. PZAP addresses the segment, segmented zones uh, in those tables. There are over six million tables uh, that can use PZAP in, in this world, uh, sorry, in Canada. And uh, our initial target market is gonna be the industrial uh, commercial markets. PZAP has been patented, initial functional prototypes have been made, and have been validated with the University of McMaster's Center of Excellence Labs. We've been working with a contract manufacturer and looking to produce a 2023 product launch. Our co-founders, shown above, have over decades of experience and delivered over $700 million of revenues and have amassed over 50 patents through their career for their employers. Our go-to-market strategies are to sell via the industrial distribution markets, while the marketing strategies will happen via direct-direct B2B marketing. We'd like to discuss uh, JV or other investor conversations to help us improve indoor air quality and worker productivity one zone at a time. In our past meetings with our POB Lions, after we uh, answered their postscript questions, uh, they said we, our strategy was well articulated and planned out and ready to go. Thanks very much. Hi Sam, thank you very much for that uh, presentation. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, I'm interested in what you believe your, your first target market is for the product. Oh, that's a good question. Our first target market is going to be industrial uh, segments. So manufacturing facilities that have meeting rooms, cafeterias uh, are going to be our first target market, financial institutions like banks. And the reason for that is twofold. One, the pain is actually happening at those industrial commercial uh, markets. They're exhibiting the pain versus like the restaurants where you eat and you move on after the day when you get sick. Um, that's where worker productivity pain occurs. They also have the cash flow to pay the bills, and the ROI happens there. Uh, so I think that's a great way to uh, target PZAP there first before we go on to expand elsewhere. Can you tell us a little bit about your go-to-market strategy? Will you be approaching directly, or do you plan to sell through distributors? How are you planning to approach the market? Sure, good question. Uh, we plan to sell through the industrial distribution channel partners that we have that are focused on the industrial, commercial, and retail segments. And we plan to do our marketing at the end B2B customer uh, via uh, AGS Zephyr's role. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna try to create uh, customer demand, if you will, uh, doing it directly, and then do the transactional work through our distribution channels. When you go on to Amazon, there are hundreds of air filters and most a lot of them don't work how are you going to communicate the differentiator that you have versus all of those uh, that's a great question i have a slide open here open if you see what we've done so that's a great because air it, you can't see what's inside air i get that you're not looking at dirty air brown air then we put our machine on it turns to clear that's a very good question so what we've done is number one it's a, we patented the idea, so it's unique, and we actually got our patent uh, approved to be unique in that our area is to segment each table overhead, around the table where people are congregating, speaking without masks and things like that, 
and it's using a HEPA filter design that's very well proven to clean the air. And the air goes into the HEPA filter and then come back out, which is just as important. We're delivering purified air outside back to the table, thereby creating a zone of safety. That's item one. Item two, to answer your question, we wanted to make sure that our idea worked and we went to the Ontario Science Table and asked, where do you go to get things tested? And they directed us to McMaster University Center of Excellence for PPE equipment and asked them to test our product and validate our product, you know, in the manner that we uh, kind of our hypothesis was formed. And they've done that. And the, the results show up that we are reducing the particulate in that space by over 80%. When we asked them, what is that in comparison to the other things you've tested, because they're the ones testing it, they're in the 30 and 40% at best. So we have proven, although you can't see it, that the particulate is removed at 80, 90%, which means you have a greater chance of not getting the flu, the COVID, cold, as you sit longer because catching the flu and the cold and COVID is a factor of both viral load in that room area and that table and time spent. So I guess you can walk by each other, you don't get it, but if you spend an hour, if I reduce 90% of the particulate in the air in that zone, you can spend not an hour, maybe, you know, the, the math would be, it's be there for five hours before you catch the same amount as you would for 45 minutes without anything on it. So by, by giving our customers uh, validated data we think that's the way to better demonstrate uh, the proof of our technology. Are you, just a follow-up question, um, are you looking at any pilot studies where you go to be it an industrial setting or a uh, office building and say, hey, what is your absentee rate before? Let's install these and let's see what your absentee rate is after. It's a great question. What we've done to date is we've taken uh, statistics that are available to us. And Statistics Canada have said that over $3,500 per employee is spent on sick days, just in Canada alone. That's, so that's a number we got uh, for cold and flu uh, sick days, specifically. Uh, what we would start with field trials to get voice of the customer, see do they like the product, is it too noisy, is it too quiet, to, all that good stuff. By having those field trials and getting that voice of the customer, those questions get answered and more questions I don't even know about are going to be asked and that's how we have uh, been working with our customers today to try to get that initial voice of the customer and we hope to move forward uh, during this year before we go into 2023 product launch with the functional samples that we've made which you can see that, that's our that last page there you can see the last one you can see we've made uh, uh, quite a, a different variety of samples so we get the one that is right now is validated does that answer your question Perfect. Um, I'm thinking about a, a, a typical work setting where you know you've got four cubicles facing each other, um, and I have a couple of questions around that scenario. So uh, the Zephyr product would hang in the middle of that. Oh, is there is there a benefit of added circ uh, of added airflow and circulation in that space as well as the protective effect of what you're doing? Uh, there is, but to be specific, yeah. um, when I, I said earlier in the conversation, over 70% of the viruses being caught and be, is yeah. when they're actually congregating together. I find that when you're in your office, on your phone, or on your computer, in your office or your little cubicle, you don't catch much a cold. It's when you actually go in a meeting room and have a coffee uh, or in a cafeteria. So the focus specifically of the tables we're talking about, the industrial settings, are in the meeting rooms where they congregate and the dining areas where they congregate, not necessarily the, the um, uh, little cubicles you spoke about. Right. The second question is, as I you add... I feel like that's way too honest. I feel like you could sell more well, if, if I asked you it. said, oh, no, no, it works in the cubicles, but it's even better in the cafeteria. It's where we're trying to focus where we think, it's like Pareto analysis, where the most people get sick. Yeah. Let's go hit that. Um, if you look at what's going on in the marketplace in the last three years, I mean, it's really hurt the economy. Our goal when we first started this whole project uh, in 2020 was to, can we help society in some way? Uh, that's what we decided to do and figure this out. So that's the area where most people get ca catch a cold. To, to answer your question another way, as you add a few of them on each table, in uh, say the cafeteria or dining area, there is greater airflow mm -hmm. going to be going all on. Uh, that does improve things. Uh, there's a soft cost that people forget about is the morale 
of employees. You know, like anything else, when you hit a pandemic or other national crisis, did you learn something from it, is what an employee asks of an employer. Did you learn anything? Are you going to do anything different? You want me to come back to work. Have you learned anything? Right? There's a soft cost here saying an employer can say to people, I'm trying to make the indoor air quality, which is, by the way, a very big growing trend of concern going on right now, better for you. Please come back to work. And that's what I would ask as an employee. You're forcing me to come back to work. I'm uncomfortable. What have you done differently? Not a thing. The ROI is very easy. If I look at the number, that's $3,500 a person. If you have a 100-person company making whatever, and, you have, and that's you know, roughly $350,000, $400,000 a year, if you can even help get half of that come back to the company and productivity gains, the investment in PZAP in their facility of 20 or 30 units is you know, less than a month. So it's a very easy ROI from the industrial people. And that's why I wanted to hit those guys first, because they can see the pain. They can see the benefit. It's a simple story to tell, and I think a simple business plan for them to understand why to invest. Hope that answers your question. Yep, that was great. Thank you. I'm trying to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and how will it be entering different international markets? Do you have different sort of regulatory hurdles to, to uh, overcome as you go into the U.S. versus Canada? That's a good question. So you can get CSA approval here internally or you well in the States or you, what we're looking at doing is doing ETL uh, certification, which helps with Europe and North America. So you do one test and it kind of, kind of covers a, uh, the whole thing. And it, you can, now you can get everything you want uh, covered from a, from a regulatory perspective. Remember, this whole thing, this whole PZAP idea, is to add an additional layer of safety over and above what people are doing to add more uh, features to get cleaner indoor air quality. This is an additional layer of safety. Where no one's saying get rid of your, your filters on your HVAC systems. No one's saying get rid of your freestanding you know, air purifiers at the dentist's office. You know, this is an added layer of safety. If we work together and keep adding those layer of safeties, um, that's how we solve the problem collectively. And we all kind of benefit from a business perspective, gaining our own specific market share of products that uh, are meant to address very specific things. Again, they're doing, they're cleaning the air around the world, around the room. We're cleaning the area where you're actually talking and having a coffee with each other. And together we're kind of helping. Hope that answers your question there. Yeah, that's great. Thanks very much for your pitch today. It was fantastic. Thank you very much.